Hi, I'm Rachel and welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday, so that means it is Friday find. Da -da -da -da. Boom, let's get straight into it. As you know, if you've watched my previous vlogs, um, I've started back at Slimming World. So, um, as I'm recording this, I'm not technically a Slimming World member. So, I won't be able to um, give you 100% accurate sins or healthy extras on these products. From next week, I will have all those tools available to me and they'll be the updated sins. However, some of these items I have mentioned in a food haul which will be up on Saturday, which will have the up-to-date sins on there. Um, so, um, nothing's gonna change regarding Friday fries. I will tell you the sins and also I will tell you the calories as well. Before we get into it, um, there's not much this week. I'll put my hands up, there isn't much. But I think I've got a good selection of things which some some of them are oldies and some, some of them are newbies. So here we go. So something which is brand new out are the New York bagels. These are the wholemeal and rye. Now this is something I'll be really interested to find out if these are a healthy extra B because I do know that the soft seeded bagels were a healthy extra B. Um, if you are interested in the calories, they're 117 calories per bagel thin. Um, you can get these in all supermarkets. They're around about the pound mark when they're on offer. And yeah, I love these. They're really, really tasty. And I find that these do satisfy me more than the um, super seeded bagels. Um, but fingers crossed that these will be a healthy extra B for me. If not, um, I'll either count the sins for them until they all go or um, the family will have them. There is a, a fast food chain, um, maybe a fast food, yeah, it's definitely fast food but it could be a cafe in like London area. Um, when I've been fortunate and lucky enough to go to Disneyland Paris, we go through the Euro Tunnel and at Folkestone they have the Leon Cafe in, in in the little service station they've got and I absolutely love Leon and they have got their range out in Sainsbury's and these sauces are amazing. My favourite is the burger sauce so I was so delighted to see this on the Sainsbury's shelf. They've got the ketchups, the chilli ketchups, the vegan mayonnaise um, Oh, there's another one like a, a garlic mayo and they're amazing but my favorite is the burger sauce i think hands down this is the best burger sauce out there you can do so much with this i'm going to put it on some burgers i might like put a little bit with um some um salad just to juice it up a bit i love this so calories it's for 10 grams it's 54 calories so i'm guessing like i said it's a guesstimate i think it's round about the two and a half sins to three sins mark for a tablespoon of this maybe but whatever the sins were will be this is totally worth the sinage it is amazing sticking with sauces i found this in heron so if you've got heron then do check out your b&m salt stores and um, this is by chef it's 60 percent less sugar and 50 percent less salt and um, tomato ketchup and um, so for 100 grams of this it's 63 calories so it's about six calories for 10 grams um i have tried it i tried it at work today and um, to me it tastes like weirdly like brown sauce um, I quite liked it, it's quite vinegary um, but I really did enjoy it and it was only 49p for the whole bottle um, yeah like I said this isn't on par with like Heinz tomato sauce let's get that let's get that out there but it is a really nice alternative and I'll, I'll, I wouldn't say it's like a proper tomato sauce like I said try it if you want to but I think it's more like a brown HP sauce um, quite vinegary and um, but worth the gamble for 49p and um, for six calories for 10 grams I think it's worth a gamble as well um, and tell me what you think to it let's talk about Chinese I absolutely love a, a Chinese meal um, it's amazing um, but one of my firm favorite things from a Chinese is the salt and pepper chips that is my go-to thing I think they're amazing and I was over the moon to see this stuff. It's the Funky Soul Spices Chinese Salt and Chili Pepper Seasoning. So this is the stuff which is going to make me 
get me my salt and pepper Chinese fix with my chips um, for like a really nice fake away. So I'm going to um, do some Slimming World chips. I can add some red and green chilli peppers to it, um, some spring onion, some garlic, and then I'm going to sprinkle some of this stuff on it. For 10 grams of this, it's 22 calories. So you're looking about maybe one to one and a half sins for 10 grams. Like I said, I'm unsure of the sinage, and um, I will know for sure. So keep your eye on, on my what I eat in a days, because in those vlogs, you will see that I give the correct sinage when I personally use it. It has two um, sections, it has like, um, you sprinkle section then you pour section and it was one pound 29 for this massive tub 320 grams um you can use this for so many things but it'll be really nice for a fake away meal and then some you can have a chicken breast with it with some um a little bit of rice and um, your, your chips and um, you could have a side salad to get that speed in i'm really looking forward to trying this Moving over to like the, the dessert section, um, something which I love on Summy World and something I just love in general are the 10 Cal jellies. Um, I really like it. However, my firm favourite has got to be the mango and passion fruit. This is so refreshing. It is lovely. I really like it. What I like to do is get 12 grams of light squirty cream and squirt some of that on top and then stick two mini um, jammy dodges on top. Um, and it's a really nice um, low sin um, dessert. These are seven calories per pot if you're interested. And I think about half a sin or one sin on Slimming World. Um, and they are really nice. They do so many different flavors. I think there's a rhubarb one out as well which i've not tried yet and that's meant to be delicious so yeah these little pots are really real handy i only buy them when they're on offer because they can be quite expensive in some supermarkets and um, but when they're on offer i do stock up it's just a really nice dessert another product i got are the two finger kit kats now these are the honeycomb one these are new to me but i think these have been out for quite a while they're 102 calories and i think they're five and a half cents on slimmy world why i'm showing you this is this is new to me this is really nice it's a little bit like a crunchy inside it's got a little bit of crunchy bits inside really nice but why i'm showing you this is because kit kat have got their winter edition out for um christmas and it's meant to taste like a biscotti biscuit and um, it's got it's cod caramelized and it's out in Sainsbury's at the moment my Sainsbury's didn't have it in unfortunately um, and it's not meant to taste like biscotti but it's meant to have like those those like essence of it um, and it's meant to be really really nice so keep your eyes on them it's the same calories and the same sins 102 to um, to five and a half sins um, and yeah Kit Kat at the moment, I've got so many different flavours out. They've got orange, they've got the original, they've got the honeycomb. I think they've got a mint out, I think. I might be just making it up and wishing um, they did that. Um, but they've got loads of different varieties out and you can find these in most supermarkets or even like your home bargains in your pound lands, which you'll pick them up dirt cheap. But I really do like having a, a Kit Kat as like a chocolate fix. Then the next product are the Ritz Minis. These, you get six mini bags of the Ritz biscuits um, and they come in little like bags like this you get quite a lot in a bag each bag is is 25 grams and you do get quite a lot of the mini ritz biscuits inside and um, these are 122 calories per mini bag of about six and a half cents on slimming world and sometimes when you just want a savory snack i love this i love having this and then a little pot of extra light um philadelphia and um, a where you can just spread the Philadelphia onto this or to or basically really let's be honest I dunk the Ritz biscuits into the mini pot of um lighter than light or the lightest Philadelphia pot um, and then sprinkle some um either a little bit of chili sauce in there to add a bit of spice or um some chili flakes um which is just a really nice little combo um to get that like cheesy fix in and um yeah i really like them i got these from b and i think for about a pound um but like i said you can get ritz in most supermarkets so keep your eye on them but they are really nice and the last product I want to talk about are these. Now, these have been out from last year and this is the first time that I've seen them 
back out now that might have just be me not seeing them they might have been out all the time um, but for me I was really really happy to see that these are back out this year this is the cinnamon bun latte I adore this this was like my go-to luxury little treat on an evening it's such a lovely latte um, it's just a winning combo that cinnamon and with that creamy frotheriness of a drink I love these I got mine from Sainsbury's you get eight sachets in here and um, they are 80 calories per portion so the four sins on Summy World well they were when I last was on Summy World um, and they're about two pounds a box do wait because they do do come on offer sometimes and um, yeah i really do like this hopefully nescafe gold bring out a new flavor for this winter edition and um, it'd be really nice to see if they do that and that was everything for this week i hope you've enjoyed it as always sending huge positive thoughts see you soon bye